Well, eight minutes to seven on Sunday night. I worked and worked and worked and worked this weekend. Worked with some of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. I you could have put a bullet in my head, and it would have been great relief on Saturday. So I fired four of them, and then <laughs> went back to work with uh, let's see, um, Mark Cray and the Hillbilly on uh, this morning, and so we more or less cleaned up. We got a little work to do tomorrow, me and Hillbilly, but. Uh, made some good money and uh, I had time to stop the flea market because they all wanted to be fed so I had to cook up some barbecue but when I stopped at the flea market to get my fresh uh, vegetables uh, I was hit by a locomotive hmm. well I shouldn't say a locomotive I should say a bunch of locomotives now Whoever this gentleman is, uh, let's see, I don't know if we can see that. Well, let's try a little different, put a little stuff on it, see if this helps. Now, whoever this guy is, Eric uh, McC McEwen, we can assume. Uh, He's no longer with us, <laughs> and his grandkids sold his beautiful set of irrational. Now, this book comes with it, and everyone in everything in here has its own little page and its own explanation, like the Franklin Mint is so good at, unbelievable. And this thing, I must admit, I paid over spot for it, but I just thought. You'd like to see it, so I, a few extra dollars might be worth the show. Now, what you, what are is here? These are all sterling, but the melt on them uh, is a little over 89 ounces. Yeah, 89.22 troy ounces melt. There's 96.46 troy ounces total, but then you got to multiply that by point. 925. Now what it does, it gives you the entire history. What a nice little box, huh? I don't know how I'm going to do this. It gives you the entire history. I already dumped these once. Jared would die if, he's, if he ever saw it. <laughs> oh man, that is so heavy. It gives you the entire history of the locomotive in this country. And some of these are foreign, but I assume they made the list because they they were used in this country. Of course, I'm well prepared. That's why I'm, I'm <laughs> that's why you're seeing my towel. But anyway, let's take a little quick look and see see how I can manage to screw this up. But they go from. Uh, let's see. What is the first one? They give you all the information on the back. It's really nice. Uh, first one is 1804, and they run up to 1964. But every possible, as you can see, every possible locomotive is in there. Pick out your favorite. And as usual, I don't like to. I don't like that one at all. Try something else. As usual, the Franklin Mint does just beautiful work. Do some close-ups on some of these. Oh, someday. Well, screw that one too. I don't like that one either. <laughs> Someday I'll actually learn how to do this. But that would take all the fun out of it, wouldn't it? Let's try this one. Let's see if that's better. But as usual. Oh, come on. Where's the focal point?
As usual, as that thing says, they are sterling. And that's only the only first 25. Let's see if I got the strength to lift the next 25 out. Oh, man. Now here's second 25. No, I just rushed through them. I don't think any of you are really fans of uh, trains. If, because if the modern trains aren't, you know, there's not many people traveling them, but I've traveled across the country a couple times. Well, not across the country, once from from uh, Arizona and once from, from uh, Colorado, uh, back to New Jersey in a train. And they're, they're lovely. You got a a drinking car. All you got to do is you sit down. Well, of course, we were poor at the time, so you sit down <laughs> and you sleep in a in an upright chair. When, but uh, you, the uh, the club car is always there. Except when we went through Kansas, we had to. Uh, they, you can't sell, Kansas at the time was a dry state, so they wouldn't sell beer in Kansas, but they told you if you had already purchased beer, then you were fine. So we, we, were, we would line up, he, he told us how long he thought it would take, well they knew how long it would take to get through Kansas, so in the process uh, we lined up four or five beers, they had to be opened, and so we just lined up four or five beers, and uh, that got us through Kansas. <laughs> mm. And of course, once you got through Kansas, then you could buy beer again. Let me see. Maybe this will be a better overview of these things. This thing is heavy. Very, very heavy. And for some people, this might be a, a decent collection of silver on its own. But, you know me, this for sure is the last silver I'm ever buying. I'm going to put this thing back. I had so many vegetables and stuff, I had to, I wrote Tom a check and told him if he wanted to sell it, he had to deliver. Oh, that thing weighs. That thing is very heavy. For us old timers, you know. Of course, somebody like Moby Dick, he could... He could he could bounce it on his news. <laughs> I hope everybody's uh, coming to the chats because they they get a little lively now and then, and that's the fun of them. But coming to you from Vineland, back from the flea market, and I couldn't help it. They just rolled over me. <laughs>